Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry from Hudson Crossing Park. Henry and I are up so late tonight, it's completely dark out. But that's because something that we want to talk about this week is easier to see in the dark. Have you ever been in a car ride late at night and seen two glowing lights on the side of the road? What are those anyway? Are they fairies? or magical lanterns? Nope, odds are what you're seeing is called eye shine. And it's something that's very important for some of our animal friends. Now, when you and I go outside at night, it's really hard to see. We need a flashlight or lights on our cars to be able to see the world around us. But the rest of the world isn't necessarily like us. Some animals can see in the dark as well as they can see in the light, and in fact are at their busiest when the rest of us are sleeping. Animals that are awake during the nighttime are called nocturnal, and their eyes aren't glowing when the light hits them. They're actually reflecting the light that is shining on them. This allows more light to get into their eyes so the dark doesn't bother them. They are able to see better and further in the dark. It's a great way for animals to hunt for their food or hide from other animals that might be hunting them. A lot of different animals have this ability and you might even live with a few in your house. Dogs and cats also have eye shine. And if you shine a bright light on your pet dog's eyes, like our friend McCoy here, or Petey, you'll see the reflection. Henry's kitten, Juju Bee, has blue eyes and his eyes reflect a red color. Now we all know that animals' eyes don't really glow in the dark, but do your neighbors know? Henry and I have a fun craft that you can do at home. Maybe you'll be able to trick your neighbors or your brothers or sisters, maybe even your parents. All you need for this project is a cardboard tube from toilet paper or paper towels, some tape, a knife or scissors, a marker, something to cover the ends of your cardboard tube, and a glow stick. First thing you do is draw a pair of eyes on your cardboard tube. They can look like whatever you want. Henry decided he wanted some eyes that looked like a jack-o'-lantern. Then ask a grown-up to help you cut out your eyes. Make sure that you're careful with your scissors or knife because we don't want anybody to get hurt. Once you've got your eye shapes all cut out, you are well on your way. Take your glow stick, put it inside the tube, and cover up the end so it doesn't fall out. Now wait for it to be dark and go hide it somewhere to see if you can fool your friends or neighbors. All right, boys and girls. Henry wanted to go out into the woods and hide our glowing eyes to see if he could get me. So, do you think he will? Let's go see. I don't see anything yet. Wait a minute. Do you see those glowing eyes off in the distance? I think I do. <gasps> look how neat they look. Henry, you did a good job. I hope that you had fun learning about why animals' eyes look like they might glow in the dark but really they're reflecting the light. And Henry and I have something really fun that we want to invite you to. This Friday, October 30th at Hudson Crossing, we are going to have a jack-o'-lantern trail walk all along the sensory trail. And I don't know, you might be able to see some glowing eyes along the trail then. We'll see you later, boys and girls. Have a great week.